New optimism tonight for a compromise deal over border security funding, but the clock is still ticking to another possible government shutdown. And that's because there's a major change in the House this year, a new rule that members must post the text of bills a full 72 hours before a vote. Senior Capitol Hill producer Chad Pergram explains. Americans expect members of Congress to read what they're voting on, be it changes to the nation's health care system or a barrier along our southern border. You never know what's tucked deep inside that legislation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi stoked the country's ire in 2010 as Congress stumbled toward approving Obamacare. We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Republicans spied an opening. Read the bills became their mantra. Have you read the bill? Have you read the reconciliation bill? They blasted Democrats for President Obama's 1,132-page economic stimulus plan. A climate change measure clocked in at 1,200 pages. And this... is Obamacare. Have you read the manager's amendment? Yeah. Hell no, you haven't! That same year, Republicans pledged to make a change, requiring three days to read bills if they won the House. Well, not quite. A closer reading of the GOP rule only mandated the House post some bills for parts of three days, sometimes described as a 24-hour and two-second rule. In other words, you could post a bill at 11.59.59 p.m. on a Tuesday and vote as early as 12.00.01 on a Thursday. We need to do better. Uh, we need to restore some integrity of this institution, and that was the point of some of the changes in the rules package. Now that Nancy Pelosi has the gavel again, Democrats say they really will read the bills before they vote. The new rule says most garden variety bills must be available for all to peruse for a full 72 hours before debate and vote. I think it's just a, the, the fair way to proceed. People ought to know what they're voting on. When the House met in this room in the 19th century statuary hall of the Capitol, bills were only a page long, and there was only one copy. Some members were illiterate, so a House clerk read the bills out loud so everyone could hear the legislation. The House is supposed to do that today, but always waives that rule. In college, just because a professor assigns the book doesn't mean that students read it. And the same is the case with reading the bills in Congress. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News.